given that A equal to and B equal to this one determine the value of A plus B. Okay, before we do the addition, we have to make sure the order of matrix A must be same with the order of matrix B. Okay, the order of matrix A here is 3 times 3. Then the order of matrix B is 3 times. They are equal, so we can proceed. So A plus B, A plus B equal to 2, negative 1, 3, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 2, plus B is 1, 0, 2, 3, negative 1, 0, 2, 1, 4. Okay, the element 1, 1 plus with the element 1, 1 of B, 2 plus 1, then the element 1, 2 of A plus with the element 1, 2 of B. So negative 1 plus 0, then 3 plus with 2, 3 plus 2. Okay, 1 plus 3, then 2 plus negative 1, 2 plus negative 1, 4 plus 0, then 0 plus 2, 1 plus 1, and the last one, 2 plus 4. So equal to 3, negative 1, 5, 4, neg uh, 1, 4, this one 2, 2, and 6. So this is the final answer. Given that A equal to this one, 5, 3 multiply with A. Okay, so 3 multiply with A, 3 multiply with A, so it's 3 multiply with A. 2, negative 1, 3, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so we just multiply in for each element. Therefore, you will get 3 multiplied with 2, 6, 3 multiplied with negative 1, you will get negative 3. 3 multiplied with 3, you will get 9. Then 3 multiplied with 1, you will get 3. 3 multiplied with 2, you will get 6. 3 multiplied with 4, you will get 12. 3 multiplied with 0, you will get 0. 3 multiplied with 1, you will get 3. And the last one, 3 multiplied with 2, you will get 6. So this is your answer. In order for you to do the multiplication of two matrices, first of all, you have to make sure the column of the first matrix must be the same with the row of the second matrix. Okay, let's look at this example. A multiplied with B. Okay. A multiplied with B equal to A is 1. 2, 3, negative 4, 4, 3. Okay, multiply with B. 2, negative 4, 6, 3, 
to 1. Okay, the order for A is 3 row multiply with 2 column. Then the order of B is 2 row multiply with 3 column. Okay, alright, so we have to check whether the column of the A, matrix A, same or not with the row of the matrix B. Yes, they are same. So we can proceed. Okay, this one, 3 and 3 here. Means the answer that you will get later is 3 times 3. So later on, you will get your answer is 3 times 3. Something like this. Three times three. Okay. Let's see. A multiplied with B. So it will be equal to. Okay, before I start to do the multiplication, I will circle the row for matrix A and circle the first column for matrix B as my benchmark. Okay. This one. First element, 1, 1 is first row, first column. Okay, first row, first column. First row, multiply with first column. So it's 1, multiply with 2, plus 2, multiply with 3. Okay, and this one, setter. For second element, first row, second column. So we take first row, second column. So it's 1 multiplied with negative 4 plus 2 multiplied with 2. Okay, so this one, setter. For this one is first row, third column. So first row, third column. So it's 1 multiply with 6 plus 2 multiply with 1. 2 multiply with 1. Okay, then this one, settle. So for this part, second row, First column. So second row, first column. 3 multiply with 2 plus negative 4 multiply with 3. Negative 4 multiply with 3. Then set this one. This one second row. Second column. So second row, second column. So it's 3 multiply with negative 4 plus negative 4 multiply with 2. Negative 4 multiply with 2. Okay, so this one settle. For this one is second row, third column. So second row, third column. So it's 3 multiply with 6. Plus negative 4 multiply with 1. Negative 4 multiply with 1. So this one settle. Okay, for this one, third row, first column. So third row, first column. So it's 4 multiply with 2 plus 3 multiply with 3. Okay, so this one settle. Then for this one is third row, second column. So third row, second column. Then 4 multiply with negative 4 plus 
3 multiplied with 2. 3 multiply with 2. So this one set the, the last one is third column, uh, third row and third column. So third row and third column. So 4 multiply with 6 plus 3 multiply with 1. Okay, so this one set the. After that, we just add it up. 1 multiply with 2, you will get 2 plus 2 multiplied with 3, you'll get 6. Okay, then this one. 1 multiplied negative 4, you'll get negative 4 plus 4. Then this one. 6 plus 2. For this one is 6 minus 12. Then this one is negative 12 minus 8. This one is 18 minus 4. And this one, 8 plus 9. This one, negative 16 plus 6. And the last one, 24 plus 3. Okay, so your answer will be equal to 2 plus 6, 8. Then, negative 4 plus 4, 0. 6 plus 2, 8. And this one, 6 minus 12, negative 6, negative 20, 14, 17, negative 10, and the last one, 27. So this is your final answer, 3 times 3. This is the determinant of matrix B. Okay, so determinant of matrix B will equal to 2, negative 4, 6, 8. Okay, you have to take 2 multiplied with 8 minus with negative 4 multiplied with 6. Then you will get 2 multiplied with 8 minus negative 4 multiplied with 6. So it's 16 plus 24. Then you will get 40. Okay, given that matrix P go to this one, find the determinant of matrix P. Okay, in order to find the determinant of matrix P, I will choose first row. Okay. So, matrix P equal to first one. I will pick number 3 here. So, I will cover this one and this one. And the left over is 8, 4, 1, 2. So determinant P equal to 3, 8, 4, 1, 2. Okay, then minus. You will pick number 5 now. So I will cover this part and this part. Then the left over is 0, 4, negative 1 and 2. So minus 5, 0, 4, negative 1 and 2. Okay, then plus. So 3. Cover it. So plus negative three. Left always zero eight and negative one one. Zero eight negative one one. 
Okay, after this, I will do something like we do for determinant of matrix 2 times 2. So this one, multiply with this one, then minus this one. Okay. So you get 3, 8 multiplied with 2, minus 4 multiplied with 1. Okay, minus 5, 0 multiplied with 2, minus 4 multiplied with negative 1. Then minus 3, plus and minus, you will get minus 3, 0 multiplied with 1. Minus 8 multiplied with negative 1. Okay, so you will get 3, 16 minus 4, negative 5, 0 plus 4, minus 3, 0 plus 8. Then this one, 3 multiplied with 12, minus 5 multiplied with 4. Minus 3 multiply with 8. So you will get 36 minus 20 minus 24. So the answer will be negative 8.